Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Natalie. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my Louis Vuitton collection. I am super excited because I've been wanting to do this for many, many years. <laughs> so I'm finally getting around to doing it. And honestly, these are like my favorite, favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So I want to do one of my own. As far as adding to my Louis Vuitton collection, I really don't see myself adding anything to it. I literally have everything that I want and I enjoy them. So there's really nothing that I see myself wanting. I mean, there are some things that I like, but nothing that I feel like I have to have it. And honestly, I really want to own one Chanel bag and just one. And I'm, I found the one that I want on the internet <laughs> and it's pre loved and it's the exact one that I want. And I don't want to say what it is because I don't want anyone getting it, but I've been eyeing it up for, I don't know, a month or so. And I can't believe no one has purchased it. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that maybe I might get it, but we shall see. But other than that, there's really nothing that I want and let's get started. So the first thing is my key pouch. This is the first item that I ever purchased from Louis Vuitton. I love this piece so, so, so much. And when I first got it, I was using this as my wallet. I'm still using it till this day and I would attach my keys here and it was like the perfect thing and honestly it was a perfect for work because I can put it like in my pocket and go to Starbucks or wherever I was going and it was just awesome. So I'm still using it till this day since I purchased it in October of 2017. I've used it every single day. Did I say that? <laughs> I love this guy. It is so functional and it has some wear and tear on the hardware because again I've used it so much and I just feel like it fits into any handbag, any, you can fit it into other pouches, other wallets. It's just so perfect. Fits in your pocket really, really nicely. And what I really enjoy about it too, is that if you want to put it in your pocket, you can attach this to like your belt loop in your pants. So that way you don't lose it. It's just so perfect. I love it. And I recommend this for everybody. Um, I just, I love it so much. When I got this in the mail and I opened, I just remember opening up the box and feeling so excited about it and just so happy. And I still feel that way about this and honestly about all my items, but this just holds such a special place because it's my first little piece. And I don't know, I also got this too because I was doing so well at work and just exceeding. And I don't know, it was just a really, really special time in my life when I got this. So really, really love it. All right, no particular order for anything else. I have the Toiletry 19. This is discontinued. I also have the 26, which is discontinued. And which is really crazy. I thought about selling these to fund the Chanel bag that I want. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but I just want that bag so much. But the thing is also, these are selling for astronomical prices on the pre-love market. And my 26 has never been used, taken out of the house. It has never left. It's been in its dust bag. But the only thing is, is if you notice, it's like indenting in on the top. It's never been used. The fascetta still looks impeccable. Made in Spain for both of these. Um, but yeah, so for my Toiletry 19, I love putting this in my handbags. It fits really, really great. The zipper is so smooth. I have some stuff in here now. And it has that wipeable interior. But to be honest, I would never use these for like makeup or anything that's like messy because I just wouldn't want them to get ruined even though it is wipeable. But I feel like the hardware and the canvas, I just, again, I just wouldn't want to use these for anything that's where it's going to get messy. But I love these for catch-alls. And that's what I pretty much use my 19 for. And again, this is in impeccable condition. It doesn't even look used, to be honest. Even the fascetta looks great. The hardware looks great. But um, yeah, I don't really use this that often. It's pretty much whenever I use like a bigger handbag. I've used these in my long chomp as well. Use this one in my long chomp. But again, I have other pouches that I use as well. So, and again, with like, you know, going through lockdown and stuff, I haven't really have used this that much. But I love it. I really, really love it. But again, like, should I sell it? Should I not sell it? Because I do have other pouches. And then this is the 26. Basically the same thing. The wipeable interior. I have the dust bag in here. But yeah, I just keep it in the dust bag. I haven't used it. I didn't buy this bag or this toiletry to use this as a handbag. Like so many people have purchased it. They have now revamped this. And it has like leather on the sides, leather on the inside, and card slots. Because they know that people are buying the, buying this to use as a handbag because it is 
at the time it was pretty affordable and you know it's a pretty decent size to use this as a handbag but yeah I haven't used this it hasn't left my house and what happened was too when I ordered these and it was when they started it was 20 to 2018 or 29 it might have been 2019 honestly when I got these I think it was it might have been 2019 I can't remember guys but anyway I know I can look in there but um, what happened was this finally came available and then like 10 minutes later this was available and I just ordered both <laughs> call me crazy and honestly how much they were back then is crazy crazy good price than what they are now and so what they're selling for I would definitely make quite a bit of money for these so that's why I'm kind of like debating on selling them because it's like do I really need luxury pouches you know what I mean you guys let me know what you think okay next thing this little guy love 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 I love the mini pochette. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite. And I got this June of 2018 and I got a promotion. I changed jobs and it was a promotion. And so this is what I treated myself with, but I'm not kidding you guys. This was a hunt. I hunted for this from January till June when I got it on the website. I was on the website all day, every day. And when I saw a place in cart, I never ordered something so fast in my life and love 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 so the hardware you know has some wear and tear on it the fascetta is pretty dark and worn it's made in france but other than that the chain and everything else in the d-ring looks pretty good so but yeah it's worn it's loved and i enjoy it so love that piece that piece is so expensive now than what i paid back in 2018 it's just more than doubled again it's just so crazy so i'm happy that i got the things that i own then versus and i'm sure people who bought it even way before me are happy that they got their items then too but i don't know i almost feel like if you want something you might as well just get it now because it's going to be double the price in a few years anyway but probably not the smartest um financial decision but you never know okay anyway so this is the six key ring holder in dami a ben when I got this, I then wanted it in monogram, but I'm happy I never bought it in monogram because I just don't need it. I don't use this that often. I actually haven't used this in years because then we went into lockdown and I'm not driving anywhere. This is made in France. Also, the reason why I stopped using it even before 2020 is because my car keys were just so bulky. But I enjoyed it because you could use this as a small wallet. Cards fit great back here. So you can literally just like have everything you need. But I honestly feel like when I get a new car and it has like like the remote start, you know, keyless key, <laughs> uh, I feel like it will fit in here a lot better and I feel like I would definitely use it more often. So uh, there we go with that. But I am happy I have it. I don't want to get rid of it. Then I have my Clements wallet in Damier Ben. If you're someone who carries a lot of stuff, this is going to be too small. I was using this for a while, but then I gave it a break um because then i got a different wallet for christmas and again i just don't want things to get too worn down i want things to last you know what i mean i actually have never even put the cards in the card slots because i just i just don't want to mess it up and then it has pockets back here and then it has this little zipper pocket in here and usually i would keep maybe a couple quarters in case i needed quarters for something but for the most part i really enjoy this wallet i don't carry too much around because usually i'll like use the stuff that I like use a lot in here and then carry the rest in here. Um, but yeah, I love this wallet and I honestly don't feel like the price increases have gone up too much on this wallet, but I really enjoy it. I'm not a big fan of like the material here. I wish it was just like a regular hardware, but it's fine, but I love it. I really, really love this. And then the last SLGs are my pouches that came with my Neverfulls. I love these. I feel like when I first got the Damier Ben one, which was the first one that I got, I feel like it was really stiff, but then the more I used it, the more like flexible it became. And I was able to actually fit a lot in here. I can fit my smartphone in here. I can fit this in there. Um, you know, chapstick, hand sanitizer, mask. Like you can pretty much fit like everything you need need. And I really enjoy it. And I love the fact that I can clip this inside my Neverfulls or inside my other handbags. But I really do enjoy them. You just can't fit like really, really bulky things because it's very flat. So some people don't like them. Some people sell them. I don't see myself ever selling these. I really enjoy them. And yeah, so I have also the monogram with the Pavone pink. And I haven't really used this as much because when I got my Neverfull, it was... Uh, what was it December 2019 so I really didn't have that much time to use it right before lockdown but anyway 
So that is that here. But yeah, these are great. If you don't even own the Neverfulls, maybe you get these on the pre-love market. I think they sell probably more now, but I think I remember seeing them around for like 500. But uh, yeah, they're just, they're really, really great. And I see a lot of people using them a lot, like out and about running errands. And I'm like, oh, I need to do that more. <laughs> All right, I have one jewelry piece and I got this, got these earlier this year. And I actually wore them for the first time yesterday, which is crazy. But these are the Louis Vuitton Icon earrings, I believe. And when I was on the website and I saw these and then I was go uh, Googling YouTube videos on these, and I was like, I have to have them. And I have bigger lobes and these work really, really well. I thought they were going to be too small and they weren't going to look right. But these are perfect for my ears and I loved wearing these yesterday so i cannot wait to wear these more and i used one of my handbags yesterday and i just felt so stylish and matchy matchy and i know people say not to waste your money on luxury uh, costume jewelry but i did and i don't regret it so i really really love it <laughs> all right going into the handbags the first one i'm going to talk about in no particular order just you know, just grabbing them here. This is the Louis Vuitton favorite MM in the monogram. So there's so many people that are looking for this bag on the pre-love market. And again, mine is in impeccable condition. My monogram is a little bit dark here because I honestly wore it in the rain and I wasn't going to worry about it. I'm like, you know what, let it get dark. And so that way I don't have to worry about it. I wish it didn't even have that fichetta to be honest, but it is what it is. And I actually bought this strap to go with it. A little bit after I bought the bag, this strap was really, really hard to get. And again, I stalked the website. Once it came available, I ordered it. I think at the time, it was I, I didn't think it was that bad of a price. I think it was like 200, 235 maybe. And it has the fichetta here. And I just love it. And I just really enjoy this bag. I feel like I haven't used this bag as much. It does have that line here that everyone gets, but it's in great condition. Mine's made in France and it fits a lot. If you can put, what I loved about it, you can fit the Clements wallet. So if I was using that, I really wouldn't feel like I had a downsize, but you can fit like quite a bit of stuff in here. And I can still like fit my phone. Like it's just so malleable and it actually looks better when it's full, in my opinion. So you can actually fit quite a bit. These run a lot of money on the pre-love market. It's so insane. When I bought this, it came available as placing cart. Then, I don't even think I received this in the mail yet. Maybe it might have been like a day later. Because honestly, Louis Vuitton shipping comes so fast, at least to my house. Um, I think I ordered it maybe a day later. The Dami Ben was placed in cart and I was like oh my god Natalie you're crazy like you cannot just get two handbags back to back I regret it if there's anything that I wish that I had multiples of it would be this one and the Damier Ben like I I love this bag and I love it in the Damier Ben so and honestly even in the Damier Azor I wish I had you can even just use this here and make it a little bit more fancy and use it as like a shoulder bag which I never have but I really just love using this as a crossbody bag. It is seriously like one of my favorite bags. And I wish I used it more. But um, yeah, I love it. Love, love, love. This was like a go-to bag for me for a really long time. But I feel like I haven't used it in a hot minute. But I really enjoy it. And I need to use it more. I've just been carrying around a little bit more stuff lately. So I need like bigger bags. So the other things have been working more for me. But um, yeah, if mine's in great condition and um, I had the plastic on here for a really long time and then my husband was like you better peel that off that looks weird so then I did I shouldn't have listened to him but <laughs> there you go with that all right next bag which I took for a spin yesterday and this is the speedy 30 in the Damier Ben and it's a big bag but I am so happy I have it in the 30 and not the 25 and I have never used this as a cross body bag but I will this year for fall because last year I was using this and I remember for Thanksgiving I took this to my mom's house and I just loved it because you could just fit everything you need. Yesterday I put a, a liter bottle of water in here and it was perfection and it just like fits everything. I have some stuff in here right now. I did purchase a organizer. I just don't like the organizers. I just haven't found one that I really like and I got rid of it. So I just have like a um, base shaper of like the board at the bottom that I got on Amazon so it doesn't sag, but it is like perfect. 
and I love it. It has like the zipper pocket here. And oh, this is the band bandolier version. So it has the strap. This strap, it comes with three sections. I only have two sections and I love using this as a shoulder bag. That's pretty much how I use it on the daily, especially if I have a lot of stuff in here. But you know, sometimes I will hold it like this or pretty much like hold it like a little suitcase. But I love this bag. This is made in the USA, which I don't really care about where it's made, to be honest. I know a lot of people only buy made in France. Uh, it doesn't really do anything for me. If I was going to France and buying it, yeah, it better be made in France. You know what I mean? But if I'm just buying it on the website, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I love, love this bag. The lock is like tarnished, which I know a lot of people have problems with. And I know that the hardware on the D-ring and the strap are different. It's just how they do it. Maybe they do that on purpose for, like, people who do replicas. I don't know. But I love this bag. I just feel like, yeah, it's a big bag, but I like big bags. And big bags are coming back, guys. You know, it's like I'm over these mini bags. It's like I can't even fit everything I need, and now I carry so much more. Oh, my Neverfull. I love this. This was my first large bag and I absolutely love it. I also bought a like an organizer for it but I just have the base shaper in there and I just put everything in pouches. I don't put like loose items. I don't like throw a pen or a pack of gum. Like I always have my stuff in pouches so I don't really need the organizer to at least for my lifestyle at the moment. I love this bag. I've taken this on airplanes with me. I enjoyed. I've cinched in the sides and I know it doesn't have a zipper so when I would take this on airplanes, I would cinch in the sides as far as I can. So usually it was already, my bag was full anyway, but I would cinch in the sides to make it a little bit tighter. And I would put like my sweater on top. So you can't even like see what's in it anyway. And to be honest, I would put like my valuables in the zipper pocket and do it like that. Or also use the D-ring. And I never use the clasps to close it. So you can also use this as like another D-ring if you wanted to. But I love the Neverfull. The Neverfull, the Neverfull. I don't know. Everybody always, like, asks, which one should you get? But <sighs> I don't know. There's just, there's, I just love both of them, honestly. Like, I feel like if I got the Speedy first, I would still want this. And when I got this, I still wanted the Speedy. But I just feel like the only con of the Neverfull, I would say, is zipper. And especially right now in my life right now, I every handbag I get better have a zipper. Like, that's just how it is. So that's why I started using the Speedy 30 yesterday when I went out. Or else I probably would have done the Neverfull. But, again, I, I love the Neverfull. So, yeah, I don't know. I just love it. It's not that I don't use it because it doesn't have the zipper. I'm just a little bit more cautious. Or it can cinch in the sides, which I really love. And it just makes it like a whole new handbag. But, oh love my never fall so this is the mm so it's not the pm it's the middle version and i love it love 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 i feel like for a handbag the mm is perfect 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 so i just love it i love it love it love it and honestly after a while once the leather you know it's probably a bunch of years from now anyway but you can go and get the leather all replaced and everything which i think is just really awesome i mean of course you have to pay a fee but I think that's just really great and you don't have to, you know, buy a whole new handbag. So the last bag I only used once because I got it in December of 2019 and then obviously lockdown hit and I used this as a carry-on travel bag when I went to go see my mom. And it's the GM. Oh my God, this thing is a beast. I have it filled right now with sweatshirts that I don't even use anymore. And the... The dust bag is just ginormous, but I love this bag. It's, it's like literally brand new. Literally used it once. Love, love, love. It's humongous. I love it with the pink interior. And then it also has the zipper and the D-ring. I love this. Love this. I can't tell you how many times I think about this bag and I'm like, I just want to use it. I just want to use it. But I also feel like I don't want to use something like this for travel and have it sit in my hotel room. I mean, when I travel, I like never have like maid service come in or anything like that anyway. If I need something, I'll just like call for it and or get extra of something I need or whatnot. But I just feel like I don't want to bring this somewhere and have it just sit in a hotel room. But I just love this. You can cinch in the sides. The only thing is, now I only used it once, but when I did use it once, when I cinch in the sides, because of the fichetta, it's a lot softer. It doesn't really stay closed. So I was kind of like bummed about that. But 
I also like the fact that the fish head is very soft too with the handles, but it's it's a big bag, guys. It's huge. It's huge. I love it with the pink interior. I didn't want the beige because I feel like that would show more wear a lot faster, but I feel like the pink is just so fun. Whenever it were to happen, I would totally use this as like a diaper bag, <laughs> you know, but it's a great, great, I think, bag for travel great bag for overnight you can fit a lot in here i can't even tell you how many sweatshirts i have in here right now i mean it is just packed but i use that to shape the bag because i don't want it to um you know crease or anything like that but i love this bag and i can totally see myself using this a lot hopefully in the fall time when i need to start carrying more using it for just you know when i have to carry more things i really love it but i love all of the items that I own and that's one thing I love about the MM and even like the Speedy 30 yesterday when I was using it I just kept telling my husband god I love this bag I love this bag I love this bag and he's just probably like okay we don't care <laughs> but I'm like and I'm like look how much is in here like I couldn't I was so excited because I'm like that's I don't know it's just I just love bags so I'm like telling him like look 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 I have my liter bottle of water I have all this stuff in here look how much room I have left I could fit so much more things in here yeah it gets heavy but still I could fit it in there if I had to, if I needed to or you know needed to carry more things around so but yeah so I love this bag I I wish I could tell you which one was my favorite I love them all I love my SLGs but especially with my handbags, all the four that I own, I absolutely love them. I don't know if I would call this a handbag. And honestly, sometimes I felt like, oh, should I have not gotten the GM? But you know what? Especially with the way the prices are now, I am so incredibly happy to have the bag. Because I would probably still want it. But because of, you know, the way life is right now, I'm not going places to where I'm using it. So I think that's the only reason why I kind of felt a little bad having it and having it just sit there in a way but I know that when the time comes I'm going to be using it like crazy and yeah I just absolutely love it but I just need to figure out one to because I feel like I would want to use it and just cinch in the sides to make it look a little bit smaller when I went to the mall last month I saw somebody with the GM and their sides were cinched in and it just looked so freaking cute and I just love it and I don't know, that's the only thing too, guys, is when I, the only time I go to the mall is when I see luxury bags. When I'm out and about where I live and, you know, just going to normal places, I never see people with luxury bags. It is only when I go to the King of Prussia Mall is when I see people with luxury bags. But just out and about, I saw one person, one lady with a Chanel bag coming out of Chick-fil-A once. And I was like, who wears a Chanel to go to Chick-fil-A? But whatever. <laughs> but like, and that was years ago. But that was like the only time I saw anyone in my area with a luxury bag. So it's like, it's kind of, I feel like people always say it's like so overly saturated. But it really isn't. Like when you go out, do you really see people with all these Louis Vuitton bags? Because I don't. I've never seen anybody wear a Louis Vuitton handbag where I live. Like... I just have it. Not that I go out often, but even before everything, when I would be out and about, the only time I would see people with these bags is the mall. So it really isn't as overly saturated, I think, as you think. So when people say, oh, everyone has the Neverfull, well, yeah, when you go to the mall, pretty much every other person has a Neverfull. But if you're going to the food store, you ain't going to see anybody with a Neverfull. At least I don't. So, and obviously with the internet, everything, I feel like everything seems so overly saturated, but I feel like in our everyday life, I don't really think it is. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to finally share with you the items that I have in my collection. I just, I don't know. And as far as I, with like the prints, I really would love a Demi Azor print, especially for the summer, but Again, I don't really, I feel like I'd rather wait until I'm actually going to need something like that. But I love, I love the Damier Ben. I just love it for fall. And the red interior is so dreamy. Oh, I love it. Love, love, God, I love this bag. I just, I don't know. I love, oh, and the Neverfull, I just can't. Um, but at the same time with the monogram, I feel like it's so classic and especially now with like the Y2K, everything's coming back in style. I feel like it's monogram for Y2K. So I feel like it's just like, that's the time period. I feel like the monogram was so, so like in style, but I love the monogram too. Cause it's just, again, it's just classic Louis Vuitton, you know, but, but. The Damier Ben was their first print. So this is this like dates back many, many, many years ago. And it's still in style. And that's the other thing that I really do love. I know people are like, oh, don't buy the classics. 
But these things are so timeless. Like when I'm, you know, 60, 80, dead and my kids are wearing them, like it's still going to be in style. <laughs> so I just feel like it's just, it's still going to be here. It's so timeless. And that's what I really, really love about it. Because honestly, guys, when I would buy contemporary brands and, you know, other, you know, yeah, contemporary brands, I just feel like the stuff goes out of style so fast and then they're worth nothing. I could sell this for probably more than what it was when I got it. You know what I mean? And like, that's what I think, what is the beauty in it? And I don't feel like so guilty because if a day were to come and I change my mind, which I won't, but you can at least get back what you probably paid or maybe the teeny, 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 a bit lower than what you paid, but pretty much get back probably 90% of your money. And I think that is great versus I would just spend so much money on like Rebecca Minkoff. And when I resell them, I don't get anything back. Like not that I want even half bag, but it's like, it's kind of a waste of money in a way, especially if you bought it and barely used it. And it's like brand new. You're not getting back what you paid. But if you take care of your items, I'm not saying don't use them so you can resell them. But if you take care of your items and then one day down the line you change your mind, you know, you're going to hopefully get back probably at least what you spent, maybe a little bit less. But more than likely, you're going to get at least probably what you spent because the prices just keep going up. So as long as you take care of your stuff, um, you know, it's not going to be a waste of money in a way, if that makes any sense. Not that I buy these things for an investment at all, and I really wouldn't recommend that either, but... I feel like you're safer spend, buying one nice bag versus a ton of contemporary brands because you're just never going to get back at all like what you spent. So if that makes any sense. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys all later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have collection videos up on your channel, please let me know because I would love to watch them because I enjoy watching collection videos. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.